This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Lenovo N42 Touch Chromebook with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Lenovo N42 Chromebook. Okay, first couple of details out of the way. Uh, Chromebooks uh, usually turn on when you open them. So you wanna make sure that it's off. And the way you do that is you long press the power button or when it is on, there's a off, there's a off icon right here. So you can either touch it here or navigate to the mouse cursor. You might have to do this several times during the procedure because of opening and closing the laptop. So next, we need to identify which laptop it is. So it's the Lenovo N42 Touch, and it's in the lower right-hand corner. There is a N42 version. The procedure is the same, but the screen and the connector are different. All right, next, and we're gonna show the tools that we're gonna use. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and one is the size. A smaller PH0 electronic screwdriver a metal spudger to pry things open, a pair of metal tweezers to manipulate cables and also used as a prying tool, and finally a hobby knife or exacto knife and that's to lift up screw covers and adhesive tape. So the first thing we want to do is remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame that goes around the screen and then there's two screws that we have to remove to remove the screen bezel and they're hiding behind some screw covers. So that's what we're gonna do first is use our hobby knife to remove the screw covers and see if we can do this gently. And what I like to do is put the screw covers right next to the opening so we don't lose them. And the same thing on this side, like so. Next, we use our PH1 electronics screwdriver to remove the two screws. And for each set, for each step of screw, screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile so I can keep track of them so I can put them back in the order in which they're removed. Next is we're gonna remove the screen bezel. It snaps off and what you wanna do is find a spot on the screen bezel where we can get traction when we can grab it with our finger fingertips or fingernails and then pull upward and outward and just work our way around the screen like that to snap off the screen bezel like so and then we continue working our way around the screen so there's some adhesive on the bottom and we keep working. And what what's happening here is there there's adhesive tape that's part of the screen. And what we want to do is separate the adhesive tape from the bezel because we're going to discard the screen. And this adhesive tape is part of the screen. And since this screen is damaged and we're going to discard it, we don't care about this part as much. So that's that. We removed the screen bezel right here. Next thing we want to do is remove the screen from the screen assembly. And there's two screws in at the top and two screws at the bottom. And we're going to remove those. one two three and four once we do that we tilt the screen up a little bit and gently 
lay down the screen on top of the keyboard. The thing we have to be careful here is not to touch the power button when we lay down the screen. And then what we want to do is remove this connector to disconnect the screen from the screen assembly. To do that, we lift up the adhesive tape. and remove the tape. Okay, once we do that, we grab the end of the connector with our fingertips and pull the connector out. When we reconnect the connector, we want to slide it in and we'll feel but not hear two clicks. Uh, pause the video right here. This is what a properly connected connector should look like. So let's disconnect it again and take a look at this screen. This is a 14 inch slim screen with touch function built in. Now uh, there's a distinction, there's a screen that's not touch capable, looks exactly like this. The only difference is the connector is gonna be smaller. This is a 40 pin connector for the touch screen. The non-touch screen is gonna have a 30 pin connector. So you cannot install a you cannot install a touch screen on a non-touch Chromebook and, and vice versa. The procedure is exactly the same. The screen is going to look very similar, but the, the but, uh, screens are different and the part number is going to be different. The part number for this screen is B140XTK01.0. That's the compatible part. For touch screens, the compatibility is a little bit more tricky than for non-touch screens. There's a screen that's also a 14 inch touch screen. It looks exactly the same with the same connector. But if you use that one, the touch function is not going to work. So there's a list of part numbers that are compatible with the Lenovo. And then there's a list of part numbers that are compatible with other makes for HP, for example. So we at Screen Surgeons, we do have this screen available. And since this is mostly for schools and school districts, we work extensively with school districts. And the way to work with us is to go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a link at the top of the page that says schools and then there will be a short form for you to fill out. We also sell this screen online on our website and the way to buy from us is go to the website again directly and on the front page there will be a short search form for you to fill out and you can just enter the model number and the right model will pop up. All right, uh, for the screens that we sell, we have this toolkit, the exact same toolkit that I use here, it comes for free with the screen and in the United States we have free shipping and we can ship to most places around the world just uh, enter your country when you check out okay once you do get your screen in make sure the part number is compatible and it has the right connector type reconnect the connector like I showed you mount the screen in the screen assembly then snap the screen bezel back on Put the two screws in at the bottom and the screw covers and that should be it. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.